In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add automation to third party plugins. So, for example, if you have a plugin that you downloaded that you want to automate, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So, this is what I mean. For example, if I want to add an automation clip to this FL Studio plugin, all I have to do is just right click on it and then select create automation. Now, if I want to do the same thing to this plugin, maybe I want to add an automation to this plugin, maybe I want to add an automation to this knob, this low pass filter. So if I right click on it, nothing is going to happen. So there is a way around it. All you have to do is move the knob around or move the parameter around anything that you want to automate so that FL Studio will know that this is the last knob or parameter that you tweaked. So after that, just go to this icon here. So this is the multi-link controllers. So all you have to do is right click on it and then you see this window. So as you can see, you see the name of my plugin, Dirty Filter Plus. So all you have to do now is create automation clip. So you can also add automation clip to the last tweaked parameters, last two tweaked parameters that you tweaked. But I just only want to add one automation clip to this low pass filter. So I'm just going to click on create automation clip and i'm going to set the automation you know the way i want this so i'm just going to play it for you now So this is me just exaggerating the effect. I hope you got value from this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe.